24. This year, the proms are bigger and more ambitious than ever, from an entire day celebrating the power of choral music, to proms in the Glasshouse, Gateshead, Bristol Beacon and Nottingham, to Doctor Who landing his TARDIS back here in Kensington. The cream of the orchestral prop will be here. The Berlin Philharmonic have two proms and help mark Bruckner's 200th birthday. Daniel Barenboim and his West Eastern Divan Orchestra will be here, as will the Orchestre de Paris under Klaus Makela. And additional star power comes from Florence and the Machine, Sam Smith and Desert Blues band Tin Arrowin, who all make their proms debuts this summer. Igor Yusufovich, leader of the BBC Symphony Orchestra, taking his place on stage. Helen Chan will conduct this evening. As ever, the BBC Symphony Orchestra bookending the season, the first and last nights, and ten other proms in between. Well, this evening, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony and Isaac Kenny Mason returns to the prom stage to play Clara Schumann's Piano Concerto. There's a new work by Ben Nabuto, a world premiere no less, and the BBC Singers in their centenary year will celebrate the bicentenary of Bruckner with one of his psalm settings. Well, the Royal Albert Hall stands overlooking Hyde Park, it was Green Park where Handel's music for the Royal Fireworks was first heard in 1749. A spectacular wooden Doric temple was built for the occasion from which a myriad of fireworks were discharged to celebrate the signing of the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle, which ended the War of Austrian Succession. Handel's music opens this 2024 season of the BBC Proms in an arrangement by Anthony Baines and Sir Charles McCarrath that returns to a focus on the brass instruments that were requested by King George II. Only martial instruments he wanted in his arrangement. Elim Chan on the stage. She bows to the audience as the 2024 BBC proms get underway. <laughs> 